Hey everyone, welcome to Gopher Noobs, aka Golang for Beginners. This is the first episode. In today's episode, I am going to share with you why you should learn Go and also how to get started in Go in less than five minutes. What's up everyone, my name is Randall. Today, the first episode, Go For Noobs, brand new channel I'm starting. If you wanna check out my previous channel, you could uh, go to that link up there, you can see other videos that I have. But today, we are talking about Go For Noobs and why you should learn Go and how to get started in less than five minutes. So let's get into it. The Go programming language, why you should learn this. Go was actually a language developed by Google, started in 2009, was released in 2012 to help deal with a lot of problems Google was having with other programming languages. Specifically, they wanted a fast programming language that could compile very quickly and that used concurrency multiple processors. Now, the founders that they got to create Go are some geniuses. We got Ken Thompson, Robert Pike, and Robert Gressimer. They created the B programming language, the C programming language, Unix, UTF-8, Hotspot, JVM, and not only that, but as we see here, Ryan Dahl, the creator of Node.js, for anyone who's into JavaScript, well, he said, I think Node is not the best system to build a massive web server. I would use Go for that, and honestly, that's the reason I left Node, the realization that, oh, actually, this is not the best server-side system ever. The creator of Node.js, basically the creator behind JavaScript, says, hey, this isn't the best thing out there. I'm actually going to Go. And that's the idea behind using Go. Basically, we want to get ahead of the wave and then let the wave push us forward. Well, Go is the future of programming language as far as I'm concerned. And if we get in front of it, learn it now, then guess what? As Go progresses, we'll have already known all the skills. Because right now, if we take a look, this is Redmonk's most popular programming languages. JavaScript, Java, and Python are way up there. But guess what? They're old. They're like 30 years old. Go is eight years old, and look at this. It's being used a lot on GitHub, but people are not talking about it as much on Stack Overflow. Because of that, there's a lot of room for it to grow. You're basically getting ahead of all technology by learning Go. And if we take a look at some of the companies that are using Go, we have Google, Uber, Twitch, Dailymotion, Sengrid, Dropbox, SoundCloud, a lot of big companies learning Go. Now, how can you get started with Go in less than five minutes? Well. First place you would go is tour.golang.org. You would go through a tour of Go. This is a great place where it basically is a step-by-step -step tutorial and you can run everything right here. Next is a great free resource, a book by, Cal by Caleb Doxy called An Introduction to Programming in Go. You go to golang-book.com. I will put all the links down in the description so you can use them. But this is a great book, An Introduction to Go. It gives you everything all for free. Next is Go by Example at GoByExample.com. This is a bunch of examples for how to program all types of things in Go. And then, for those of you who are a bit more experienced, you might want to go to Effective Go. This is golang.org slash doc slash effective dash underscore go dot html. Again, links down in the description. But this has a lot more examples and tells you exactly how to use it. And lastly, my favorite place to get started programming in Go very quickly is the Go playground at play.golang.org. And look at this. If you go to that website, play.golang.org, you can just click run up here and boom, you've ran your first Go code. So like I said, learn to program Go in less than five minutes. And guys, if you're like me, you like some books as opposed to to just reading stuff online. There's some really great books. So the same book I mentioned earlier, which is right here, the Caleb Doxy book, he actually has a published version of it called Introducing Go, Build Scalable, uh, Reliable Programs. You can get that on Amazon. Also the next one, and these are in order that I would recommend reading them. So first one, Introducing Go, second one, Go in Action, third one, the Go Programming Language. And then if you want some more, you can get Go in Practice and Black Hat Go for some more fun stuff. So guys, that's it for today for the first episode of go for noobs thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it click the like button it helps out so much also subscribe click the notification bell to find out when i'm coming out with new videos and i will catch you guys later peace